Leslie Earhart with the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation. It was April 3, 1985, when a resident out for a walk in a remote section of Campbell County made a startling discovery, skeletal remains. The remains were later determined to be those of a young girl. Today, more than three decades later, the identity of the victim is still unknown. The body was found uh, near this, this road called Big Wheel Gap, which at the time was a gravel road. Um, they, they were doing uh, coal mining in the area. A lot of tan trucks were coming out daily with, with coal. Forensic anthropologists determined the skeletal remains belonged to a young girl between the age of 10 and 14. Based on the condition, investigators believe her body had been there for at least a year, possibly more than two years. A cause of death has not been determined, one of several reasons this case has been difficult to solve. The fact that no uh, missing persons that match this description were reported in the area, that also makes it difficult. Investigators found items near the remains that may have belonged to the victim, including high top tennis shoes and this necklace, something agents believe a family member might recognize. When, when the remains were found in, in 1985, um, nearby uh, investigators and anthropologists discovered uh, a necklace that was still um, uh, together uh, with, with a piece of string, but it was made of like plastic buttons. And it's, uh, you know, sort of a, a unique necklace. Despite having very few clues, investigators have worked hard over the years to develop new leads. Using her skull, forensic artists were able to do a facial reconstruction that depicts what the victim may have looked like before her death. Additionally, a DNA profile for the young girl was developed and entered into the combined DNA index system, as well as the National Missing and Unidentified Persons system, in hopes that she will eventually be identified. With, with a case like this, there's no question that some family somewhere is still looking for this little girl. And uh, what, what we hope to, to get is um, you know, a lead that would help us maybe have somebody to compare against. TBI agents are hoping someone can provide information that will help them identify the victim so that they can work to determine what happened to her and how she ended up in Campbell County. If you have information that could assist agents in identifying the victim in this case, please call 1-800-TBI-FIND or tips can be emailed to tips to tbi at tn.gov.